Well, Sam, first goal for Yeovil Town, but tinged with a little bit of sadness that you couldn't see out the win. Uh, yeah, I'm happy, um, obviously, to get my first goal, but I'm gutted it weren't the winning goal. I think the boys showed that we're fit enough to play this game. We done well to um, go in front, but I think second half we just weren't on it. So yeah, it's disappointing. Yeah, because you gave up a lot of possession and Eastley just came at you, particularly second half. But your goalkeeper kept you in it, didn't you? Didn't he? Oh yeah, he's a top goalkeeper. I think we all know that. He shows that in training all the time. He makes worldy saves. But yeah, we got we got to take that to an advantage and when he's doing them saves you got to go do something at the other end of the pitch but yeah, I think second half you just need to keep the ball a bit better well, well we really really got a few f three or four passes together which we needed to we couldn't just defend for the whole half but yeah it's a difficult one to take yeah because even when you're sort of under under the cosh you can still force them into mistake as you did seven minutes in you just didn't do enough of that going forward yeah I think first half we come out positive and we knew we had to bounce back from the other week which we did in the first six minutes, an early goal, which is any team wants an early goal. And, um, yeah, we just didn't um, capitalise on um, that. I think, yeah, it's a disappointing result. It was difficult conditions as well, wasn't it? There were a lot of <laughs> crunching tackles flying in. How was that to play in? Yeah, I think, yeah, you're going to get that in this league. Obviously, it's different to where I've been playing at um, Bristol, but... <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting used to it now. <laughs> My back's getting better from all the from all the challenges. But yeah, it's, if I'm getting fouled, I know I'm doing something right. So yeah. And as you say, you're on loan from Bristol City. Is this a really good opportunity for for you to show Bristol City what you can do? Yeah, I think I just need to get um get back to playing 90 minutes, showing what I can do, putting my name back out there, and then just see where that takes me. And you've played a couple of different positions. It was a very flat front three. Was it quite difficult when you didn't have the ball a lot today? Yeah, I think obviously it's a bit frustrating when we're just kicking it long and we're not stringing them passes together in the middle. But even when we go long, we need to even try then and make something happen. But yeah, it's, it's very frustrating not getting on the ball and doing what... Us, us front three do, do best. So. And Yeovil Town fans liking watching you play because every time you get the ball and run with it, they're, ex they're excited by it. And I'm sure Bristol City fans will be happy to hear it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what that's what I bring to my game, and I, I want to get the fans off their seat and do do my best for the team. But yeah, again, I think second half we all could have done a bit better on the ball. I think we do it in training. We just need to have um, the heart and courage to go on the pitch second half there and. Um, show it on the pitch instead of just training. And does this point look better if you can back it up with a, a win at Hewish Park on Saturday? Uh, uh, yeah, but I think it's still a hard one to take because we went 1-0 up and I think we just need to build on that one. No, six minutes in, we need to keep going and get another and then maybe defend. Even then, if we're 2-0 up, don't just defend for the rest of the game. But yeah, I think we've got to go against Saturday and obviously put in a big shift against them. Um, on form Chesterfield, which will be obviously be a hard task, but we like being the underdogs and it makes us hungry to go and win Saturday. And just lastly, you mentioned there it's a very different environment to you used to at Bristol City, but are you enjoying it? Oh yeah, I'm loving it, yeah, yeah. The lads are great, the gaffer is amazing and all the um, staff behind the scenes, like, um, yeah, I'm buzzing to be here and I just, hopefully we need to just start getting a run of wins now and climbing the table and be where we actually should be because we've been playing obviously good football the fans can see that but we need to get the right results to go with it well done on your guard today and thank, thank you, you.